Hey gang, this is Dallas from Privateer Press and we're back here to paint some more on our Thag Rosh. Today we're going to be working on the Chitin. And for that we'll be using Battlefield Brown, Guncore Brown, and Bootstrap Leather to create the base layer. So let's get going. First, we're just going to mix up our colors in our paint pot or in our paint palette. And this is sort of just an even mix of all three of these. So Get some Battlefield Brown, some Guncore Brown, and a bit of Bootstrap Leather. This just gives us a nice, rich tone to start our bones on. We're going to apply this anywhere we want the chitin or the bone parts. So let's start here on his horns. I'm just going to do a quick base layer. His fingernails. He spines on his back. Just get a nice coat of brown on all the bones. And don't forget the bottoms. Now we're going to shade the chitin. And for this, we'll use a mix of brown ink, red ink, and Thamar black. A couple drops of brown. A couple drops of red. And some Thamar black. Nice rich color. There we go. We're just going to shade this mix right over top of our base color. So 
So I'll just blend that up. Nothing fancy. And on the back down here, gonna let it get in the recesses where his skin's been peeled open. Can make the skin look nice and ripped with this color. These areas around where the bone's coming through. Like giving it a little touch of that shade where it looks raw and angry. But this red tone is really starting to come alive. Let this blend out a little bit too. Kind of figure those are breaking out of his flesh. Okay, we got our shade on. We'll mix up some Battlefield Brown with Hammerfall Khaki to apply those highlights. Got our Battlefield Brown. And our Hammerfall Khaki. Line that up. We're just going to paint this over top of the chitin to give it a little texture and highlight it. So. Start at this end. And just paint some little lines. I like to make these pretty uneven scattered. And just using the tip of the brush, just work your way down the horn. And just continue our texture lines or highlights. We can further refine that by adding some Minoth White Base to that mixture. Take our Minoth White Base. Add it in. Maybe a little brighter. We're just going to quickly put this on the very edges of our kite. And so we got a good point. Just put it right on the edges and the upper surfaces. I'm just kind of touching it, little dots. Same on the fingernails. Start at the tips. Give it a quick highlight. Remember, don't be afraid to highlight want the contrast from a highlight. So sometimes whenever you uh, paint your model, you think, should this use another highlight? The answer's probably yeah. Especially after a process like this, where you've done a sort of wash. Washing tends to bring all the colors down, so you need to bring that back up. 
Put along the edge of the leg bones. Just to give them contrast. And there's the chitin on our Thagrash complete. And we're ready to move on to the next part. Remember, check out our links below and I'll catch you next time. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.